Earlier this evening, Buckingham Palace said it was very concerned by reports that the Duchess of Sussex was accused of bullying some of her staff during her time at Kensington Palace. Uh, the claims were made by former staff of Harry and Meghan and the palace says it will investigate the circumstances. For her part, the Duchess was said to be saddened by reports of a bullying complaint, uh, which was seen as the latest attack on her character. Our royal correspondent, Nicholas Witchell, has more details. What is the truth? Is Meghan, the woman who was warmly welcomed when she married Prince Harry, now the victim of a calculated smear campaign by the establishment? Or was it the case that as the Duchess of Sussex, her behaviour became unreasonable and that her staff were driven to distraction? The worst reigns within the Sussex household, it's a matter of record that staff members left. And now a highly revealing email has been obtained by The Times. It was written in late 2018 by Jason Knorf, the couple's communication secretary, to Simon Case. He's now the cabinet secretary, no less. In it, Knorf is reported to have written, I am very concerned that the Duchess was able to bully two PAs out of the household in the past year. The treatment of X was totally unacceptable. In response, the Duchess's spokesman has said, The Duchess is saddened by this latest attack on her character, particularly as someone who's been the target of bullying herself. Buckingham Palace has said it's very concerned about the allegations. It's setting up an inquiry. Former members of staff will be invited to participate. The palace statement concluded... The royal household has had a dignity at work policy in place for a number of years and does not and will not tolerate bullying or harassment in the workplace. So why have these allegations emerged just four days before the Sussexes' interview with Oprah Winfrey is broadcast in America? Apparently it's because former members of staff, some of whom I'm told feel very bruised, believe that an incomplete picture of the Duchess is being presented. Her supporters, of course, will continue to believe that she is the real victim. Nicholas Witchell, BBC News, Buckingham Palace.